Welcome to the Hollywood Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One, Coleman Street, Belleville, the one store for your perfect floor. Here I wasn't enough to save Karen Rodriguez. She was voted off American Idol last night. She was a singer that sang half her songs in Spanish and half in English. And uh, the bilingual 21-year-old from New York sang for her idol life, performing Mariah Carey's Hero, but it wasn't good enough for the judges to use their once-per-season save. So was she, like, number 11? So she, she was, doesn't make the tour. No, she didn't. You know, got to be oh, in the top 10 to make the tour, so she's bummer. gone. It's the fame monster that ripped apart Billy Ray Cyrus' family, but not the actual show that made him and Miley famous. And by the way, he's dropped his divorce. Because of his comments about Hannah Montana in a recent GQ article, uh, Cyrus says on The View that he wants to set the record straight. He says, I love Hannah Montana. I love Disney. I love her fans who have been with us throughout the whole show. But he says fame was the issue. And Billy Ray says because he and his family are communicating, things are really the best they've ever been. And he's dropped the divorce because he wanted to put his family back together. And the lawyer said, dude, look how much you'll lose. No Ooh, kidding. Yeesh. Charlie Sheen's coming to Canada. Yeah, we'll let anybody <laughs> in. He's bringing his My Violent Torpedo of Truth, Defeat is Not an Option show to Toronto and Vancouver. He's booked at Toronto's Massey Hall on Thursday, April 14th. Tickets ranging from 80 to $110. They're going on sale March 19th. The Vancouver show is set for May 2nd at the Rogers Arena. His upcoming live shows in the U.S. sold out fast, even though no one knows exactly what he's going to do in yeah. these shows. You're just buying tickets. Wow. Meantime, Charlie is said to be moving out of Sober Valley Lodge and into a $7.5 million Mediterranean mansion in the same Sherman Oaks, California gated community. This one's just two doors down from Paris Hilton. Uh-oh. Yeah. Actor Matthew McConaughey says he deliberately didn't rehearse with his Lincoln lawyer co-star Ryan Phillippe in order to make the scenes more authentic. Simon Cowell has reportedly signed 54-year-old music producer Def Jam chairman L.A. Reid as the first coach for the U.S. version of his talent show X Factor and will announce two more before auditions kick off in two weeks. And Tyra Banks has been attending Harvard Business School in order to run her multi-million dollar empire. And a Lindsay Lohan supporter tells Radar Online that the jewelry store that's accused her of stealing a necklace is destroying her life in order to make a fast buck. Well, I think Lindsay's done a pretty good job on her own. I'm not kidding. Celebrating a birthday today, you share the state with country, so- country singer Charlie Pride. He's 73 today. Irene Cara is 52. Queen Latifah is 41. And comedian Dane Cook is 39. That's the Hollywood Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One and Quinty's Greatest Hits, 95.5 Hits FM.